Today we're going to look at enlargement and similar triangles. Enlargement transforms an object by changing its size. Its shape remains unchanged. The degree of enlargement is determined by a scale factor. The, uh, the scale factor essentially shows exactly how much bigger or smaller our image is compared to the original object that we're uh, making a, a transformation of. Two figures are similar if corresponding angles are equal and pairs of corresponding sides are in the same proportion. So the idea of similarity is uh, has, has shares some uh, components with congruence. Congruence means two shapes, two figures are exactly the same, but they've been uh, moved, rotated, or um, translated, or rotated. With a uh, similar pair of similar figures, those figures might have been rotated and, and translated and all of those other things, but they might also have been enlarged, made bigger or made smaller, and but their shape is still the same. So if their angles are equal, if that all of their angles are identical, and if the pairs of corresponding sides are in the same proportion, that is, they all follow the same scale factor, that means those two figures are similar. That's the definition of similarity. So if I've got two figures here, this figure on the right is an enlarged version of the figure on the left, and our figure on the left is labelled A, B, C, D, and our figure on the right is labelled E, F, G, H. We only have one side length labelled, this side length here, 5 and 10 and we've got our angles labelled inside. You'll notice that each corresponding angle is equal. 80, 80, 100, 100, 1, 1, uh, 110, 110, 70, 70 degrees. They're all the same angles. And if we have a look at the side lengths here, five and 10, they, they are in proportion here, they are in proportion. So this, this one is 10 times our original uh, value here. So we can make the statement that ABCD, this figure here, ABCD, is similar to, this symbol means, is similar to EFGH, EFGH. And the ordering of the letters is important. We need to make sure that each vertex of our uh, similar figures matches up. So A and E, they correspond, they're corresponding, they're both at the 80 degree mark. B and F are at the 70 degree mark, G and C are at the 110, and H and D are at the 100. So you can see A and B, uh, sorry, A and E, B and F, C and G, D and H, they all match up, and they match up in our, in our um, statement of similarity here as well. To determine the scale factor of our similar figures here, we take one side length, the side length of the image, and divide it by the length of the original. So here is our image here, our image is our second shape here. Our value for EF, our length EF here is 10, and our length AB is 5. So we do 10 divided by 5, and our scale factor is 2. That essentially means our shape, every proportion of its, of its lengths have been multiplied by 2. As far as triangles go, there are a few tests that we can uh, put, put those triangles through, put a pair of triangles through to determine whether or not they are similar. So if, if any of these rules are satisfied, any of these tests are satisfied, it means that those triangles are similar. So our first rule is SSS, side, side, side. And that means, or and, and that test is if all sides, all corresponding sides, are in proportion. So if I do a proportionality test here and take the originality, uh, uh, sorry, the image uh, lengths divided by the original length, and and make sure they're matched up, and see if those proportions are the same. So 12 divided by 6. 8 divided by 4, 14 divided by 7, yes, they all equal 2. So the scale factor for our, um, for our enlargement here is 2, and these two triangles are similar. These two triangles are similar. They pass the 
side, 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 test. So all of the sides are in proportion. This is very similar to the side, side, side test for congruence of triangles, but it's different in that their sides aren't exactly the same, not matching up, but they are in proportion. Because if you remember that two figures are similar, if the pairs of corresponding sides are in the same proportion, they don't have to be equal. Another test is side, angle, side. And that is when we have uh, two corresponding angles in between two sides, in between two sides that are in proportion. So here we've got our corresponding angles here matching up, our corresponding angles, the same value. And then these two sides here, 10 and 5, and these sides here, 22 and 11, they're in the same proportion because 22 divided by 11 is equal to 10 divided by two, uh, 5, which is equal to 2. So our scale factor is 2 here. So these two triangles are in, propor in proportion and they are similar. We can also look at angle, angle, angle for triangles. If, the, if all angles in each in, of the in both of the triangles are the same, they have to be the same, uh, then those two triangles are similar. Then those two triangles are similar. You'll notice that this is not a test for congruence. And because it's because the angles can all be the same, but the lengths can be widely different. But it is a test for similarity because if those angles are the same, it means that the sides are definitely going to be in proportion. So here, if I've got, I've got two matching sides here, uh, sorry, two matching angles here, two matching angles here, two matching angles here, then that means that this triangle is in proportion. If we know that two of the angles in a triangle, just two, are in proportion, that is also good enough because we know that all of the angles in a triangle, all of the angles in a triangle add to 180 degrees. Add to 180 degrees. So it means that if two of the two of the angles match up, then the third must match up as well. So we don't necessarily need all three angles to be shown, but we could work out what the third angle is anyway. The final test is RHS, right angle hypotenuse side. And this is if we have a right angle triangle, the hypotenuse is in proportion and one of the other sides is in proportion as well. So if we have, um, we've got our two right angles here, it's got a right angle triangle, and we can see that one, our hypotenuse, which is the one opposite our right angle, that's 15 over 5, then if we know that this final one is in proportion, 6 divided by 2, 6 divided by 2, we can see that they are in proportion, that's equal to 3, that's our scale factor, and these two triangles are in fact similar. So we've got side, 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 angle, side. Remember the angle must be in between the two sides. Here, angle, 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 and right angle, hypotenuse, side. There are uh, four tests for similarity. Let's have a look at our examples here. First example, for the following triangles, give a reason for similarity between the two triangles. So one of our three, our four, uh, tests and also find the value of x. So we need to analyze our uh, diagram here and find where our triangles are. We've got one triangle here, BCD, triangle BCD here, and we've got another triangle, bigger one, ACE. There are our triangles there. They're the triangles that we're looking at. We also notice that these two lines here are parallel. That could be very helpful for us. Um, and we also know that they kind of, they both have this angle C here in common. So, because we know BCD, BCD, this angle here, BCD, this angle, is common for both of them, we can say, well, that angle is the same. It's a shared angle for both of them. We also know that BDC is equal to angle AEC, so that's BDC is this one here. And angle AEC is this one here. They are equal because those angles are corresponding. Due to our parallel lines, we can use the F rule or the, the corresponding angle rule to say that these two angles are the same. And we can use the same rule to say that these two angles are the same. Angle uh, EAC and angle DBC. Those two angles are the same. And because we can say all of those three angles are the same, 
those corresponding angles are the same, then that means our the rule, the reason for similarity is angle, angle, angle. And we can write a congruence, uh, sorry, a similarity statement here that uh, triangle BCD, BCD is similar to triangle ACE. And notice we, we need to be very, very careful with our order. So B and A are corresponding. These are the corresponding angles. C, C is corresponding and D, E, D and E, they're corresponding. Now, to determine our value for X, we know that those side lengths are in proportion. So these, these two side lengths are corresponding sides here. So those side lengths must be in proportion because we've said that our triangles are similar there. So the scale factor is gonna be AE, this length here, divided by uh, BD. So AE divided by BD is three over two. So that's our scale factor, three over two. Now, where we know that this corresponding side, which we do know here, it also corresponds to our longer side here, EC. So EC over DC, EC over DC is going to be our scale factor. So we know our scale factor is three over two. We know EC is X, that's what we're trying to find, and DC is five. So if I multiply both sides by five, I get X equals three over two times five. So that means our X length there is 7.5 centimeters. Last example, we're being asked to prove that the pair of triangles below are similar. So we've got two triangles here, the larger triangle ACE and our bigger, a smaller triangle here, BCD. So we can have a look and, and look at the information that we have. We've got different side lengths here and we've got one shared angle here as well. Okay, so that shared angle, that's our ACE. So A angle ACE and angle DCB, they're both shared there because they're both meeting at that one point. We need to have a look for, um, in order to prove that these two triangles are similar, we need to try and see if there's proportionality between them. So we've got some different lengths here that we can analyze for proportionality. So we've got here, if we look at AC and DC, so ace, length AC here and length DC here, we can do 18 divided by six and that's three. So now we can check that the other two sides are in proportion, that 12 divided by four is also in proportion. So if uh, I do 12 divided by four, I get three as well. And that's the same scale factor. That means that they are in proportion. They're in the same proportion. So I've got two sides and in between both of those sides, I've got an angle an angle that we know is a shared angle, so that angle must be the same as well. They must be equal. So we can therefore say that triangle ACE is similar to DCB uh, because of the, the rule or the test SA side, angle side. Uh, we can actually, it can be a little bit confusing when we're trying to look for that proportionality, but if we check um, we're being asked to prove that the pair of triangles below are similar, so we've been told essentially that they are, and we just need to find out how to show that. If we test and match up the, the sides incorrectly, so say we didn't match up AC and uh, DC, we matched up AC and BC, um, 18 divided by 4 is not the same as 12 divided by 6. So 18 divided by 4 is about uh, 4.5 and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So they're obviously not in proportion. So those two sides can't match up. We need to be very careful that we've matched up everything correctly. So C is in the middle because we know those angles match up. And we know that AC and DC match up. So we can see AC matches up with DC here. And we know EC and BC uh, must also match up. So EC, BC also match up. So it is very, very important uh, to make sure that the ordering of the, um, the letters is correct uh, when you're making that statement of similarity. And you can also see here that in brackets after each relevant step, I've shown um, the reason behind it. So justifying, justifying my reasoning as I go.